So Red Hat offers a range of services to our customers ranging from technical support to training and consulting, basically everything our customers need to support their whole life cycle from development to deployment. We make companies successful in our training business by making sure that the individuals themselves are successful. So by making sure that individuals are equipped to do their jobs on a day-to-day -day basis, they're effective, they're efficient, and you know, ultimately they become certified, you know, all that rolls up into goodness for the organizations. Training's interesting in that it both functions at the individual level as well as the, at the corporate level. And you know, I think, as Ian described, it, you know, enabling our customers to take advantage of our technology is, is a, a great benefit of what we do with our training. Um, but in addition to that, to the individual, you know, there are people who are looking at Red Hat as a leading technology company and wanting to get themselves up to speed and accredited around our technology because that translates to employability. You know, Red Hat's value is recognized out there and people in a difficult market are saying, gee, if I can get a Red Hat certification, there are opportunities for me out there because I know companies are continuing to adopt our technology. There's a very direct correlation between carrying a Red Hat certified engineer designation and compensation. And, you know, we see and studies have shown a double digit increase in, in pay that comes along with carrying a Red Hat uh, credential, and I think that really speaks well to the relevance of our of our training and of our certification programs. In our consulting organization, we're kind of operating in two modes partly as trusted advisor and then secondly as a trusted vendor. So as they you know, work out the, the business issues and, and choose the right business solution, we want to be sitting by their side you know, advising on that and giving our input. Alongside that, we also see ourselves as a trusted vendor. So you know, when you really need that deep product expertise, you know, that's what they're, we are there to provide. You, know, you can get it direct from the source. Yeah, I, th I think they come to us, first of all, for the subject matter expertise. Right, we are we are viewed as the technology leaders in the open source community, um, but I think they stay with us because of our model, right? I mean, we're a subscription model, so every day we have to prove to the customer that we're delivering value to them, that we have their best interests in mind. And so from a consulting standpoint, that can be quite refreshing, right? Because we're not always coming in just to sit there and run their infrastructure and, and plant ourselves for eternity. We're trying to be, we want to be on site as long as it takes to make them successful, make sure that they're you know, consuming the technology in the most efficient way. And in the end, if it makes sense for us to leave, then we leave. As long as they feel comfortable that they're in a position to succeed. A lot of our customers are coming to us today because they're looking at how open source can solve their business problems and reduce their costs. So as a service organization, you know, we can help our customers be successful with building out complete end-to-end -end solutions around the open source stack and open source methodologies.